Alright guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to do this video. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little advice girl talk type thing. But pretty much what this video is, um, on my new Instagram page, which if you're not following me, go and follow me. It is Glow Up Tips 8. I'm going to put that like right there. Um, so go follow me. But I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a video um where I give you guys advice and stuff on like glow up tips, diet, workout, boys, friends, stuff like that. So you guys responded with a ton of responses. I have them like all screenshotted here. Um, so yeah, let's just dive into things. And I hope that this video helps uh, some of you guys because I've been getting lots of DMs and um, it's just difficult to respond to all of them. So hopefully this video answers some of your guys' DMs that I haven't gotten um, back to yet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And yeah, let's just dive into things and I'm super excited to get this started. All right. Oh gosh, my camera. Okay, so the first question I had um, is why did you start to glow up? So for me, I started this like whole kind of glow up um journey thing my winter break freshman year in college and i started it because i was not feeling good about myself because things ended with this guy and i felt like i had gained a decent amount of weight from school and i was just really stressed with like schoolwork and like the whole boy situation and there were some things with like friends that were stressing me out and so when i came home i think it was like a sign or something i saw olivia deandrea's um like glow up thing and i remember watching it and i was like oh my gosh she's so inspirational and motivational um and she was just like showing that it's okay to not be okay and i saw the video and like saw how brave she was for putting herself out there and i was like oh my gosh like that is so amazing this is exactly what i wanted i want to do and i already had my youtube channel from then and so i was like you know what like i'm gonna do what she did because maybe it can help people her video helped me so I wanted to document my glow up and put it out onto YouTube and help people but also I just I was so tired of not feeling good anymore and I was so sick and tired of letting like I was so tired of allowing guys to um, make me feel like I wasn't worthy and make me feel like I didn't have value so I just honestly I was so sick and tired of it I was like I can't I'm just done like I'm done feeling I'm done feeling bad about myself so I just started the journey and I know a lot of people ask me like how do you get started I don't even know how to get started you don't have to know everything you don't have to have some sort of perfect written out plan you don't have to be that knowledgeable on like dieting and working out and all that stuff just get started like just choose one thing to do and just get started um i didn't really necessarily know what i was doing but i just took it every single day and i started learning and teaching myself stuff and like learning things from other people so that is why i started my little globe journey and i obviously do it because i hope that i can inspire some of you guys how to get over rejection btw i love your videos thank you all right so you've come to the queen for the rejection stuff um i think in order to get over rejection you honestly have to know your value and you have to know your worth when i was in high school and i'd get rejected by guys or they like i would be like oh hey like i like you it's more than a friend and they would be like no i don't like you like that i used to get so upset and so hurt by that and now if someone didn't like me i didn't get it <laughs> if someone leaves me on open i don't care anymore um i just i don't see like when i was in high school i didn't know my value and i didn't know my worth and i used to think to myself oh wow like that guy rejected me so i must not be pretty and i must not be smart enough like i must not be enough and you have to realize that that's not true just because a boy rejects you or doesn't like you back or moves on to someone else doesn't decrease your value as a person i think it is all about feeling confident and secure within yourself and 
I used to not feel that way. I used to allow these guys' opinions um, of me determine my own opinion of myself and you can't do that. You can't allow uh, someone rejecting you to make you believe that you aren't pretty enough and that you aren't smart enough and that you aren't good enough because you are enough. Um, and it, like you you like you are enough if Beyonce can get cheated on <laughs> You know and it's Beyonce like we all think she's beautiful and smart and talented and she got cheated on that doesn't decrease her value That doesn't mean that she's less that doesn't mean that she's not pretty enough or she's not smart enough So you have to just know your value and know your worth. So you just have to honestly feel so confident within yourself and just know that doesn't matter if someone doesn't like you back because you know that you're a boss you're a bad bitch it's just that stuff doesn't matter that doesn't take away from you as a person that doesn't mean that you're any less just because one person didn't like you back or even if it's a list trust me i had a lot of guys that didn't like me back in high school and that's fine so you just you just have to know your value and just know your worth um someone says how do i stop binging um I think the best thing for me, because I used to, oh my god, I used to binge so much. Like, I would literally snack like crazy. Like, I would just like eat, eat, eat. Like, oh, oh my god, it was insane. I think the best thing for me is planning out a really yummy meal to make and like cooking it in my kitchen. I just like clean my whole kitchen space and I'll make a very nice, decent sized meal and it gets me excited and then I don't want to ruin it by snacking i want to eat that meal and then it will normally just like fill me up also i'll drink like lots of tea and stuff to help fill up my stomach and then like, drink lots of water and i'll try to replace like junk food and stuff for healthier options like i love cutting up an apple and putting peanut butter on that um or like dipping vegetables into hummus um or sometimes i'll have like a little bag of popcorn or something um i just think looking up just healthier snack options um, and also just like trying to plan out your meals that you're going to eat um, because I'll I love cooking and like making a meal it's fun and then I don't want to like ruin um, it by like eating a ton of like junk and stuff like that so someone just said if you want to eat something unhealthy one day like junk food will you yeah I will um, obviously I try not to do it every single day but I think once again going back to what I've said it's really about balance and like maintaining that balance so I don't do it all the time but like if I'm out with like friends or something and I want like to eat something that's like a little more junk food I'll do that and then I'll try to find like healthy junk food options I think good advice for not like uh, binging on junk food all day is just pick one thing that you really like I love dark chocolate stuff or i'll have like vegan ice cream or little oatmeal balls or whatever like little raisin ones and that's like my dessert and so i look forward to it and then i will eat it as a treat after my meal so i'm eating that like two times a day and it's not even like i'm eating an entire pop tart or something so okay so someone said i'm pretty unmotivated and i don't even know if this is all going to be worth it in the end so i'm just gonna kind of read what i wrote today on one of my instagram posts so i said will it all be worth it in the end Yes, even if you are not seeing results right now, do not give up. I think the issue we have when we start eating healthier and working out more is that we don't make it enjoyable. So when we don't see results right away, since it's not fun anyways, we just give up. Make your healthy eating delicious instead of restrictive. Make your workout fun instead of a chore to do. If you don't see results right away, no worries, because everything you are doing is enjoyable and you won't want to stop. Everything will be worth it though in the end, so don't give up. I think that is the most important thing to continue to stay motivated is to when you're eating healthy not restrict yourself you're eating healthy and it's delicious and so it's fun and enjoyable for you and when you're working out you found something that you like and that you are eager to do every day i think that is something just to continue to stay motivated um even when you feel so unmotivated so just try to do things that are enjoyable and fun that get you excited and make you want to do that thing every single day sometimes i feel like trash i feel ugly fat and stupid like I can't control myself, help please. Um, so I'm sorry that you feel it that way, that's very sad. And um, I do understand um, some of what you're saying 
because I have felt those ways before, um, especially back in high school. I used to feel unattractive and I thought I was a loser. Um, honestly, I think that just comes from being confident within yourself and as hard as it is, you cannot think that way. You cannot stop calling yourself ugly, stop thinking to yourself that you're less or that you're not smart or that you're fat or unattractive. You need to start start faking it until you become it like the quote like fake it till you make it fake it till you become it if you don't feel any of those things and you feel very negative about yourself you need to change your mindset and start believing that you are those things you need to start looking at yourself in the mirror every morning and saying you know what i am beautiful you know what i am smart i am talented even if you don't feel those things just fake it just keep saying it out loud to yourself. Keep thinking it to yourself. And I promise you, the more and more you say that, the more you will become secure within yourself and the more you believe that about yourself. Because me in high school, I, I had value and I had worth and like, I deserve to be happy and I, I deserve to feel good about myself back then. And the only thing really that changed was my confidence and yeah I lost a little bit of weight but I was still the same person then than, than I am now so I shouldn't have said those things about myself back then and I'm not saying them about the, myself now so why would why did I say them back then so don't talk to yourself like that and you just have to learn to truly love yourself and to just feel good about yourself and that energy radiates and people will see that and it will like come off of you and then they will start to see you as more attractive and more beautiful because the way you carry yourself and your confidence if you walk around with your head down low and you're with friends like I, i've had friends before where they're like oh my God, i'm so ugly i'm so ugly i'm so ugly i'm so dumb i'm so dumb and it's like the more you say that the more people are going going to believe that so you need to start saying like to yourself i am beautiful i am smart like i have value i have a purpose um like, I'm not stupid. Like, don't say those things about yourself. Carry yourself, even if you have to fake it. Like, I don't care. Like, I see so many of you guys being like, yeah, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's okay. You don't have to believe it right now. Just fake it. Just fucking fake it. That's what I started doing. I just started going into the school year and being like, you know what? I'm just going to pretend I'm like a queen or something. Like, I'm going to, I'm just going to pretend. Like, the confidence, it might be fake right now. I'm just going to fake it. Just fake it till you make it fake it till you become it and then it started being real and then I started thinking to myself like okay wow like I actually am all those things like I don't need to fake this anymore and it just became natural and became real so please don't think that stuff about you okay and we're back okay so yeah people keep asking me like skincare uh stuff like that so I think the best tip I have for skincare honestly um is to try to find like i don't really think there's necessarily anything specific i think try to find something it's like trial and error just like test it out try to find what works best for your skin it's taken me a while sometimes my acne fluctuates sometimes my skin looks good for a couple weeks and sometimes it'll look really bad and so just try to not freak out too much i just breathe and i'm like you know what it's fine it will get better so try not to freak out too much your skin looks really good one week and then really bad the other week but i love my indian like aztec clay mask that really helps um and for my skin personally when i have like little pimples and stuff um i like to just put like any type of acne cream on it and i'll just put it on the specific spots and that'll dry it up and then i also really like using the micellar cleansing water um i like it it's very gentle on my skin and then um i will use lots of like i'll do mario badescu like spray on my face and stuff and i just try to keep my face moisturized at night and yeah just try to keep it clean um also another tip that i have um after you rinse like your face off and stuff in the shower your pores are open because it's the steam makes it so hot and so a tip that i have and i've seen my skin improve by doing this is i'll take cold water afterwards and like Put it on my face after i clean everything up and it kind of like shrinks my pores and like closes things again so like dirt and stuff doesn't like get all in it so i've noticed that that has helped my acne substantially okay hmm okay how to deal with toxic friends okay oh toxic friends interesting so i've kind of gotten to the point in my life where 
as I'm getting older, I'm just realizing like I don't care for toxic people. I don't care for having the biggest friend group anymore. I don't care about that. I don't like I would rather have a small group of real true amazing friends than a big group of like toxic people. Um, I love my friend group that I have. They're amazing and if someone is toxic, I would literally will cut you out. I will just like stop talking to you. I don't even care anymore. So I've kind of gotten to that point in my life. So I think it's really just about like not being scared to drop those people or just get them out of your life. It doesn't have to be anything like mean. You don't have to be like, oh my God, F you and like start an argument. Just pull away and stop talking to them because they're not worth it. Honestly, they're such a waste of time and energy. Um, they will suck the life out of you. So yeah. And another question on here, how to tell if somebody is a toxic friend or not. I think that it's really important to kind of step back, take a look, and if your friends are not happy for all of your successes, if they're not happy for you, even when they're not in a good place in their life, I think that they're toxic. You should always be happy for your friends, no matter what you're going through, no matter what. So I think that's really important. Um, my true friends have always been happy for my successes and my accomplishments. They've always cheered me on from the sidelines and I've done the same for them. Even if I was in a bad place in my life, I would never be jealous of their successes. I would always be cheering them on. And like the same thing, even if they were in a good place in their life, but I was doing well and succeeding, they were clapping and cheering me on. And that's what, those those are my true real friends and they will literally be with me till the day I die. Um, just surround yourself with people who are trying to better themselves and push themselves each and every day to be the best person that they can be because I promise you those types of friendships are going to take you places and they're going to motivate and inspire you so you just you don't have time for toxic people anymore just stop talking to them okay the next one have you got any tips to not overthink yeah so honestly I think well I use oh my god I used to overthink all the time i literally used to freak out about everyone else's opinion of me what everyone else is doing or saying and honestly i've just calmed down so much and i try not to overthink things because it stresses me out way too much honestly i think the best thing you can do is literally just have trust in the universe and have trust in yourself and just know that things will work out at the end of the day no matter what i'm just such a firm believer everything happens for a reason and we're all on this path and even if it might seem like we're going on off course a little bit we'll come right back on and it will be okay i think that just keep that in mind constantly be like you know what everything's gonna be okay everything is gonna turn out fine you're gonna be okay i try not to overthink things and then i'll think back to the past and i'm like oh my gosh wow i remember when i freaked out over that but look at where i am now like everything worked out everything has its place everything is going to be okay um and i think if you find yourself overthinking just try to take a deep breath and just kind of like just close your eyes and just try to like go to a happy place or something or just like blank your mind for a moment breathe and just realize that everything is right on course even when it seems like the world is crazy and your life is insane and everything is going wrong there's always a reason why that thing has happened to you no matter what always try to look at the bright side and i promise within like the next couple months or weeks or years like you'll look back and be like oh wow now that's why that happened to me I shouldn't have overthought that so much. Okay. What can I do when the boy I love treats me like shit, but I can't let go? Mm, sister, you gotta let go. Um, it is easier said than done. It's so easy for me to sit here and for other people, like your friends and stuff, to be like, oh my God, just let him go. Like, he's such a jerk. I understand because I've had friends tell me that be they'd be like, oh my God, let him go. Like, you're so much better than him. All that stuff. And yeah, you are better than this guy because he's not treating you well. So therefore you are better than him and you don't deserve that. But like you just have to realize that they're not your person if they didn't treat you right. Like if they don't treat you with the utmost love and respect, they're not meant to be. And why would you want to give love to someone who doesn't give you love and respect back? 
Um, so I'm sure what you're thinking is like, I love this guy. There's nobody like him. Like I'm never gonna find anyone that I feel this way about, but I promise you, I promise you, you will. There are so many people in this world and I'm guessing that this guy is from your school or your town. That's a small number of people compared to how many there are in the world and how many more people you're going to meet and have experiences with. So don't settle for one person. If he doesn't treat you well, you need to be brave and strong and move on as hard as it is, I promise you. Honestly, if they don't treat you with the respect, cut them off. Like you really need to cut them off because if someone doesn't love you, why are you giving them your love? If someone doesn't treat you well, why are you treating them well? You're wasting your time and putting so much love and energy into someone that is not going to give it back to you. And you need to honestly stop talking to them and move on and find somebody that's going to respect you. I'm like, I'm so serious. So yeah, it's hard and it's scary and I understand, but I promise you, there's so many people out in the world and you will find a connection with someone else and you will have that connection with someone that treats you well with love and respect so um how to reduce bloating um for me the best way to reduce bloating was from intermittent fasting honestly because like when i wake up in the morning my stomach looks much slimmer um that that has helped immensely with bloating is just intermittent fasting um trying to think what else uh taking out soda sodas cause a lot of bloating also i think um eating really quickly try to slow down your eating and like chew everything fully and also i'll do like little apple cider vinegar shots and like mix them with water that's helped with bloating um a lot okay how to motivate yourself uh to work out so i think that for me i once again, I try not to be too hard on myself and like too strict, um, but also I think maybe structure and kind of getting a schedule. Maybe you start working out in the mornings or maybe like working out in the middle of the day or at night, something like that. Just try to stay consistent with it. And then also I think just having a really good playlist. The other day, I did not feel like working out and I was like, you know what though? I'm gonna do it because I wanna listen to my playlist and I feel like blasting my music really loudly. So I have a good playlist on my Glow Up Tips 8 page if you wanna go look at that. But yeah, I just wanted to listen to music and that's honestly what motivated me to work out was the playlist. So I think having really good music to work out to and like switching up your workout routine, that's what motivates me and makes me wanna keep doing. I used to go to the gym and only run and then do weights and that's so boring, so boring. So go online and try to find new things. Recently, I've been doing lots of like Zumba exercises. I'm not a good dancer at all, but I did Zumba for like four or five years or something. So I think mixing up your exercise routine and just finding new fun things i was getting a little bit bored i had been boxing a lot recently and i was getting not bored but like it was just kind of becoming you know the same thing and like kind of regular so i was like you know what it's gonna be fun for me since i'm trapped in my house i'm literally don't need much space to dance anyway so i just pull up some zumba videos and i'll work out to those so i'll probably be doing some sort of Zumba routine thing for you guys. Um, it's really fun. I fell in love with Zumba because it's crazy good exercise and it's so fun. Um, and it sometimes feels like you're not even working out. So I'm gonna be kind of collabing with one of my friends, Ella, because she's, I think she's a licensed Zumba instructor. So hopefully I'll be putting some stuff either on the, my YouTube channel or on the uh, new Instagram account that I have. So yeah. But that is how I stay motivated. Just try to switch things up, find new fun things, and have a really good playlist. And don't be too hard on yourselves. Alright guys, so I know I didn't get through everyone's questions. Um, I hope that I did the best that I could with answering. Once again, I'm trying to get back to all your DMs. I know it's taking a little bit of time. It's just um, difficult because I'm you know, still trying to do stuff every day. Like schoolwork and like things on my own. And so it does take a lot time but i am and i see the uh dms and they're super sweet and i love them and i am trying to get back with all the advice i hope this video helped you in some way shape or form um 
yeah so give me some ideas down below in the comment section of more videos you guys would like me to do um but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed yet you should subscribe thank you so much to all the new subscribers and just everyone who has been subscribed for quite some time now i appreciate all the love and support you guys are amazing um yeah i love you all so so much please stay safe out there with the whole uh, quarantine like corona thing it's definitely really scary so um i'm thinking of all you guys and your families i just want you to stay safe i love you all so so much just know that you've got this um you guys are amazing inside and out and the last little bit of advice i give you is to make sure you believe in yourself i believe in you um but even though i believe in you you guys have to believe in yourselves so make sure you believe in yourself and honestly once you believe in yourself you can accomplish anything and it doesn't matter what anyone else says so yeah all right i love you all so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye